Hey guys, so let's go over some of those questions from the in the last video about probability, permutations, and combinations. First up, how many ways can you arrange the letters A, B, C, D, and E? So the first thing you need to do with this question is to figure out whether or not it's a permutation or a combination. With permutations, the order of the objects matters, whereas with combinations, they don't. So in this case, the order does matter, because A, B, C, D, and E would be different from B, A, C, D, and E. So the way you solve a permutation problem is by using the formula n factorial over n minus r factorial. So in this case, we have five letters. So n would be five, and we're sorting all five of them. So r would be five. So the formula would turn into five factorial over five minus five, zero factorial. Zero factorial is always equal to one and we're left with 5 factorial on top, which is the same as saying 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 120. Next up, we have five students in a class. How many ways can you select a group of three? So this question is different from the previous one in that the order of the students doesn't matter. So if we had five students, A, B, C, D, and E, Selecting ABC would be the same as selecting BAC or CAB. So in this case, the formula for this would be NCR. So 5C3, since we have a group of 5 and we're choosing 3. And the formula is N factorial over N minus R factorial, like with the previous problem, except we multiply the bottom of the fraction by an additional R factorial. So this is 5 factorial over... 5 minus 3 factorial, which is 2 factorial, times r factorial, which is 3 factorial. So what we can do before we calculate this is actually do some reducing. So the top is equivalent to that. The bottom, 2 factorial, is 2 times 1. Three factorial is three times two times one. Since we have three times two times one down here and up here, we can reduce them out. And we're left with 20, five times four, divided by two times one, which is two, which is equal to 10. Moving on to the last question, we have three red stones, five blue, seven yellow, two orange, and one white in a bag. What's the probability of picking a yellow stone out of the bag? So this being a probability question, we need to first figure out how many total outcomes there can be, so which is the total number of stones. So we have 3 plus 5, which is 8, plus 7, which is 15, plus 2, which is 17, plus 1, which is 18. So we have 18 total stones. Put that at the bottom of a fraction. All we need to do is figure out what outcome we're looking for. And in this case, we're looking for a yellow stone. There's seven yellow stones. So the probability of picking one out would be seven over 18. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Like always, feel free to leave comments and questions below. And if you found it helpful, give the video a like and subscribe.